In this video, we'll show how you can create UX components uh, in Alpha Anywhere uh, for building mobile applications that access the camera. So you can see we're running a uh, simple UX component right here in the mobile simulator on the desktop. And we're running in Chrome because um, Chrome uh, allows us to simulate cam camera access. So uh, we have a, uh, a component here that is uh, uh, accessing data from a uh, people database. So if we go and look at the uh, structure of the table that we're uh, going against, it's a simple MySQL table that has an ID field, first name, last name, and then a binary field that contains um, the uh, image data. So uh, if we go back now to um, the uh, design mode of the component, we can see that what we have is um, our fields first name last name and then we have our image field and um, uh, we've structured it so that the image field is in its own panel card uh, and then um, the uh, panel card for the uh, first name and last name uh, and the panel card for the image field are both contained in a layout and the reason that we've done this is so that we can uh, on a small phone screen we can scroll the image um, independently of the rest of the form so that the normal fields on the form stay fixed in place but the image can scroll. So let's go back now and take a look at how the uh, uh, button that opens up the camera is defined. So we'll go now to our button that says camera and bring up Action JavaScript and we can see that we've used a standard action in Action JavaScript, the image upload action which um, has been a feature of uh, Alpha 5 for some time now. And if we look at this now, we can see that this um, image upload action has been enhanced with the ability to specify the application type. So previously, the only uh, type was uh, desktop, but now you can say desktop or mobile. And then if you choose mobile, then you get to specify whether you'd like to use the, um, HTML5 image upload. So this is um, a functionality that has been added to new versions of uh, mobile browsers like iOS 6 and uh, new versions of WebKit browsers on Android devices. Or if you're running inside a native shell, whether you'd like to use Cordova. So Cordova and PhoneGap are the same thing. So in order for me to show this on the desktop running in Chrome, I need to use the HTML5 option. So there I've specified that uh, we're going to be using HTML5 image upload. And then this is the name of the field in the table that we're bound to that we're going to be storing the image in. So there's the image blob field that we're going to be um, uploading information into. So let's go ahead now, save this, and then switch back to uh, Chrome over here. So let's go now add a new record. So I can go here and just type in, say, uh, uh, and then hit the uh, button to simulate camera access. So uh, if I was actually on a, a phone or a mobile device right now, the camera would come up but here on my uh, desktop as a proxy for the uh, camera, this, the image selector comes up. So I'll just go and choose uh, an existing image from my uh, built-in images over here. And then go ahead now. So the image gets uh, uh, uploaded to the server now. But at this point, uh, the image uh, has been uploaded to the server, but is not yet stored in the database. Uh, so now when I finally click the Submit button, a new record is added to the database and uh, that image is stored in the binary field. So now if I go back there, there's the first record in my database, the second record, and then now here's the record that we just um, created. So what we've shown here is how um, the uh, image upload action in Action JavaScript can seamlessly access the camera or uh, also the uh, built-in photo library on the device to access the image that you'd like to upload and then store in the uh, back-end database to which the uh, UX component has been bound. Thanks very much for watching.